Welcome to New England Streamers. Today I am going to be tying the UV Pearl Smelt. This is a tandem featherwing streamer, very effective fly. Let's take a look at the recipe. Okay, I'm going to start by putting the size 8 nymph wet hook in the vise. I'm going to grab my 210 UTC thread in white and build up a nice thread base down the shank of the hook stopping somewhere in between the barb of the hook and the point of the hook just grab my scissors and snip off the tag and now I'm going to grab a pre-cut piece of 30 pound test monofilament this is pre-cut to about two and three quarters inches slide that through the hook eye and also take note the curve is going upward okay so I've got my butt end of the monofilament where my thread base stopped and I'm just working my way up towards the hook eye making sure that the orientation of the monofilament is how I, I want it nice and straight and the curve is upward okay so this UTC thread is very flat, so I'm just going to spin my bobbin and make this more rope-like and work my way down. And here I am applying a lot of pressure. I'm applying as much pressure as I can apply without breaking the hook or the thread. And then you want to come back up to the hook eye. Again, applying as much pressure as you can possibly apply without breaking your thread or bending your hook. And I like to throw a finish in here just to secure my work. So now I'm going to grab a piece of the saltwater flashaboo and tie that in at the hook eye. and back up <laughs> and I'll refrain from throwing another whip finish in there it's just a habit guys so wrap this up nice even touching turns here and once you get to the hook eye secure it neatly with your thread. And a good tip here guys, you can bend this material backwards and just tie it in a few turns and that will prevent it from pulling out. So that's it. We are going to tie off here, finish the fly, I like to throw a double in because I am done with this back half of the fly for now. And snip off the thread. So I'm just going to lightly run my fingernail over this and over time that will straighten it out. I'm going to do this a few more times throughout the building of this fly. So I've got my larger hook my front hook in the vise. Just going to build up a nice thread base like I did before on the smaller rear hook. And snip off the tag here. And back up to the hook eye.
All right, so now you can see it's still a little curve here. Just gonna bend it in the opposite direction. Just keep playing with it. These are light manipulations. You don't want to be too rough with it. All right, these have been tied with the rear hooks facing up or facing down. This is totally personal preference. I prefer mine rear hook facing up. That way you don't double hook a fish because I generally catch and release. So this is how I tie mine. You can tie yours however you want. So I've started at the hook eye as usual, working my way down. I'm not applying a lot of pressure with these turns. They're fairly loose. I'm just trying to make sure that the rear hook is perfectly straight. That's all I'm doing here is pulling it taut and see look at that guys that's not bad that's pretty straight it's got a little upward curve but that will work its way out as we go so now I'm going to apply pressure now I'm applying as much pressure as I can apply without breaking the thread most of the time I would be holding the front hook as well but I'm just trying to show you guys what's up. And throw a finish in there. That looks pretty good to me. Alright, so I've got another piece of saltwater flash. I just cut a tie-in point to make it easier to tie in. And I'm going to start behind the hook eye, work my way down. and back up. And I'm going to throw a finish in and it's time to wrap. Nice touching turns. And lash it down. Trim off the excess and whip finish. And here you have the finished UV pearl body. Okay, so not quite finished. I'm going to take my Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails and I'm going to generously soak this thing in Hard as Nails. Big trout have big teeth, and they would certainly shred this uh, saltwater flash right up. So, if you can encase this thing in hard as nails, it can take a few extra hits before falling apart. So, it's an important step, guys. Don't skimp on the head cement here, or the Sally Hansons. Alright, I've let this dry most of the day, and now I'm back. I'm going to grab my 70D. Uh, UTC thread in black and I'm going to start the head. Trim off the tag here and 
grab my UV Pearl Crystal Flash. So I'm going to tie this in longer than the body because I'm going to trim this off later with the scissors. So you can see this is longer than I want it by just a little bit. So now I'm just going to take some really tight wraps around to secure that top crystal flash. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the tag end here and I'm going to pull it tightly to the opposite side and under. And then I'm going to tie this in and then pull it straight. So what that has done is saved me from having to tie in another piece. I can just double up the pieces and then grab my scissors and cut them to length here. Alright, so I've got UV Crystal Flash on the top and the bottom, and now it's time for the hard part, the wings. So, basically what you're going to do here is go through all your feathers and find two that are identical. You see I have two feathers here, but they look like one when they're together, because they're pretty much the same shape, same size, and they're just a good pair. So, that's going to be one side. Now you're going to find another pair that's the same shape and size, and that's going to go on the other side. Now personally, I like to glue mine together. Um, some people do, some people don't. Uh, I glue mine. So I've glued mine, I've glued the two together. You leave the stems long, by the way. Also, some people tie in one at a time some people tie both wings in at the same time. I'm personally more comfortable with two, so I think I'm going to tie in both wings at the same time. So let me grab the other wing. You want to line up the length, make sure the length of the tips is the same exact. You want to make sure all four feathers line up and the feathers are going inward and downward so when you think you've got the orientation correct take your thread and start at the very back take a loose wrap do not put pressure another loose wrap another loose wrap and here we go I've cinched that down a little bit and now I'm picking up my pressure okay so those are somewhat secure now I'm going to take my long stems I'm going to fold them back and tie those in and grab the scissors and cut the stems off and tying the stems in just secures the feathers in place it keeps them from pulling out so easily alright so I've got my stems cut now I'm gonna build up a nice neat head here And keep in mind, we do have to use the red thread, so don't go too excessive on the head. And whip finish, two turn whip finish will do. Now grab the red thread. This 
is just 70 denier. Start that at the back. Trim off the tag. And just building up a nice bright red stripe here. It's supposed to imitate like gills, bleeding gills. And snip it off. All right, guys. Not bad. Just kind of adjust the orientation of everything here. And put some head cement on. And you can just use Sally Hansen's. I'll probably end up, I will put a coat of Sally Hansen's on after the head cement dries because I just like the shine that it gives. And here's the finished fly. And thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It's going to motivate me to make more videos, and I really enjoy doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Take care.